man, talk to us. So, yeah, obviously, eventually you get done and um, you get put away. So, like, you know, what's that experience like for you? Like, so talk us through, you know, just going into into jail for the first time and, and just the the culture shock uh, and, and what's going through your head. Like, because obviously I understand you had a couple of young kids by this point. <clears throat> And um, yeah, like Look, how was that transition? Um, when you kind of in that environment, in that world, you know so many heads already, you know. So like when I went in, they grabbed me and they had me in Silverwater, not Silverwater, um, uh, Surrey Hills, down underground. I was in there for about seven or eight days, you know what I mean? And just the smell and stuff, you know what I mean? You got to, you know, the milk is different, like the food, like everything just makes your, your fucking whole world is tipped upside down. You know, obviously my concern was for the kids, you know what I mean? Like, well, you know, and about them going to school, are they, they going to get teased and stuff like that? So for me, I'm a big boy. I made my bed, I have to lay in it now, you know, but my little ones, they, you know, they didn't, you know what I mean? Like I, I did it. And so... And they were going to Cambala, you know, and but the 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 mothers there and the teachers there were because it was obviously it was such big news and mate it was on the front bloody wow. paper for two days and then and then on the weekend it mate it just like they do doing double page spread and had me here and dot to dot like a little you know what I mean so mm. and I was, as I come through I end up in you end up in a place called Darcy at Surrey Hills I think you can go to Park Learn up these days you know so but at this stage. I went straight into uh, uh, Silverwater in a place with Darcy 1 and Darcy 2. And I'm there. Well, well I land there, mate. We, and you have sweepers. Sweepers the one that give you the milk and, and your food and bread and stuff. And, you know, mate, I got in the morning, boom, 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 wait up, boom. And, mate, I swear to God, you've got six sweepers. Five of the sweepers were old school Maruba boys. Wow. Fuck, we've been waiting, my brother. What's the, you're all right, mate. We're, you know what I mean? And the schools go, well, well, we're opening the doors and then as soon as I come out, the boys were all there. And then there's a couple of other guys I knew, a couple of big boys. I, I, I knew, mate, mate, so, so for me, it was it, it was okay. You know, obviously the you still get that little numbness, you know what I mean? Go, oh, fuck, what about this shit? You know what I mean? But then I, I was already in that world. See, mm. I was in that criminal world, mate. So then I'm, I'm straight back into the fucking university. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah well, everyone's there. Well, everyone's going, oh, fuck, man. Okay, mate. And I've been seeing you in ages. You go, yeah, I've been here for the last three years. Blah, blah, blah. I went, oh, fuck, no wonder I haven't seen you. You know, the boys, Trevor, everyone was there. And there was like five. There was only one guy from Balmain, and the other five were like sweepers. They're all from Maribra. And so and that, that, and that was okay. And the screws could see that. You know, they can say, fuck these little guys. So what they did was, I actually had my first visit. So I got there, had my first visit, got back, and they said, believe them, you know, fuck, and you're going up into the pods. And I went, yeah, and then, and then when the my, one of the boys come over, Lenny comes over and goes, mate, he goes, they're pissing you off up there because they know that you know all of us. So by the time I get going, man, I've got bags of good green clothes. I've got a fucking brand new pair of Nike TNs. You know what I'm mean? saying? So I'm rolling up. I've been there dead set. I arrived at the one o'clock that night. In the afternoon, three o'clock, I'm packing shit and I'm going. So like, what, what are you looking at? Like 12 hours later or something, you know, like fucking, I'm already up into the pods. Went up there in 213 pod and i knew like this young island the kids everyone else i didn't even know but all the other boys that i knew they were over in 11 like so there's a whole heap of heads you know what i mean i kind of looked around and people were looking at me because i was on the news and in the papers so everyone knew who i was and this is this can be a bad thing or this can be a good thing you know lucky for me everyone knew who i was anyway you know but if you don't really if you're not really known and you come into that environment, mate, you're going to get bitten, mate. People in a car, they say, mate, I want a fucking hundred grand in my account. Mate, people getting stemmed. I, I, I never, no, never nothing. No, 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 I was very lucky in that aspect. But, mate, guys, every day, mate, getting stamped, whether it be fucking cans of tunas for your shoes or people getting getting their other people to follow their people after visits and fucking come on and say, mate, we've got 250 grand in our account, mate. This is it. He's dead. Poor. People just go, oh, what for? Big movers, you know, because they think you got a lot of money. So I, w- I was lucky that I knew a lot of boys. Right. In, in, so people, yeah, yeah. so people are, so people will come to visit, and then uh, another inmate will 
get Hard someone to follow them on the outside and yes. fuck, yes. that's gnarly. Yeah, mate. Fuck, you got so you've got people visiting, right? He's got his visitors and they know this guy's fucking worth plenty, right? Mm. And when so when their visitors go up to leave, he will he'll go, All right, boys, I'm going to see you too. So they they his visitors will follow theirs, get their number plates, get everything, mate. And then what they'll do is they'll do their homework, right? They'll come back, tell old mate, old mate in jail. They'll have a visit next week, tell him, this is, mate, this is where he lives. This is what goes on for the rundown. As soon as they walk inside, they go, listen, mate, 251 in the fucking account, mate. We know your wife's name. You drive this car, there's your regular number. We know where you live. Your kids go to this school. Oh, yeah, proper. That's proper shit. Wow. Like, mate, shit goes down, mate, nonstop. Like, people make a living off that. Yeah, yeah. People so- actually make a living off that. I'm not you know surprised, I mean? yeah, because I just saw Jared Hayne got uh, moved <clears throat> to, you know, a special high-profile prison. Uh, yep. I, I imagine for that exact reason. Uh, he, he'd be, I reckon he'd be down in Kuma. So that's where all your kind of your white collar, right? Um, like you, you got like dirty coppers, fucking judges, all that shit. They, that's what I said, mate. They're so protected, and they get the best jobs and the creamiest, you know. And then they get, oh, mate, you've been a good bloke, but fucking so you can get to an easy jail. Yeah, you know what mm. I mean. They're, they're 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 not in the guts and glory of things. Don't worry about that. Mm. You know what I mean. It's a fucking it's a dead set jungle. It's, mm. a, it's an absolute jungle, mate. And so, yeah, go on. So, so so like obviously, I get the thirteen and I knew and I, and I seen a couple of heads and I just I seen who the head swivel was. I just went over. Hey, I go brother. Just went, yeah, yeah, mate. He's a bit. He's fucking. He's a bit of an arrogant cocksucker. Forget his name. He's fucking. You know. I go. I said, mate. Oh, I said, I've got a lot of boys over here, 11 pod, you know, two to all the boys, rah, 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 rah. He goes, oh, okay, then. Okay, so he, as soon as I threw their names up, he he, 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 he went, okay, then. So he sent words, and the boys sent words straight over. He's with us, fucking, mate, whatever he knows. And then it was just, boom. Just, it was, so there was no, there's no one coming from him because I knew so many people. And like, and then the word, and then they, and they, and that, and that, there was, there was a group because it was the same time as, the airport when the the common chairos bashed yeah. the guy I remember the this. Yeah, yeah. Peter That's Service right. and he, yeah, and he yeah. died and that well the commos are all from this area so we yeah. know and I, I grew up with them and that all those boys were there. Right. So they all sent word over and this was like yeah mate bro, he, he's he's with us and then and then I was just trained on my then so and then about three of them actually moved over and I was two out with one of the head ones, you know what I mean? But we grew up together since we're fucking little kids. Tuza, you know, he's, he's not a combo anymore. So me and him are there, and he, he was heads worth, mate, this is it, bro. I mean, the guy's like fucking six foot eight and 120 kilos, built like well, fucking good. Yeah, so well, there was not there was no arguments going on with anyone. And right. me and him were too out. Like, we're, we're best of mate. We grew up out here together. Yeah. Yeah, so. I was interested. Yeah, I was wondering about that because, um, yeah, obviously, like, you know, from the area more or less. So, like, you know, the combos from over the back there, like Mato and, and that kind of zone. Yeah. and. Um, Chifley and, and wherever else. And then, you know, obviously Maruba is like, you know, this is I'll just break it down for people listening on the podcast who might not be from the Eastern suburbs or whatever, but you know, there's Maruba, which is the coastal zone and a lot of surfers and um, you know, like, you know, it's hard men and no bullshit people, but then crossing into jail, like jail, like you said, it's a jungle. Like there's fucking ruthless people in there. So I, I what, full on predators. Oh man. And I just wondered how you would do coming from uh, a, a beach, you know, a surf culture in prison. Cause it's not as it's, it's gnarly in look, there. And, and. Look, sorry. You, you're absolutely right. It's more of a softer fucking, you know what I mean? Like little surfies and whatever, but that's not the case for Maru, but that's, the, and it's mm. never been the case, man. We had our Locos, our Tony Hines, our Grant Robos, mm. mate. They're all born and bred Maru. It's all surf, fucking all hardcore, mm. all done fucking 20 years, like proper machines. So we came in and you know what I mean? We've got the Dave Zammer, you, you're like, you know what I mean? Like these guys. So it, it was, so when, when we rocked in and you say you're from Maruba and you're and that, so Aurea has that stigma. Okay, even in prison. hundred <clears throat> percent. Yeah. The boys wow. were fucking ruthless back yeah, in the day. Yeah, and yeah. then I only mentioned I only mentioned a couple, mate. You know, when when mm. I was in when I was in, we counted twenty-two people in, in jail from Maruba. Wow. Twenty-two people that we all know, you know, like from the young blokes to the older blokes. There was twenty-two of us in. 
Wow. Like, that's why I answered Joe, mate, there's something in the water. And, like, and everyone's doing big wax. The kids are obviously doing a bit small, like threes and whatever. But last, we're all doing tens, mate. Another bloke did 22. So so, so our, our name in, in, inside is fucking solid. Mm. It's solid as mm. a rock. You know yeah. what I mean? So, and, and it, it depends how you carry yourself too. If you come in with a, a chip on your shoulder and arrogant, well, you're going to get knocked down. That mm. chip's going to come off your shoulder. There's always someone who's more dangerous than you. Always. Yeah, that's a guarantee. Uh, and so, you know, talk us through some of the, the incidents that you, you bore witness to or, or had to survive yourself. But like, what you know, what's like, <laughs> take take us inside the, the prison system. And a lot of this is it. Is it this at Long Bay, a lot of it? Yeah, well, I spent a long time in Long Bay. I spent, Which is interesting uh, in itself because like, you know, for people not from Sydney, like Long Bay is fucking may as well be in Maroubra. Like it's that Maribra. close to it. Yeah. It's I, could, I could look out on the top thing and, and look and, and look and look down over uh, Malabar, look at look at the water, smell the salt air, you know, and the main look, there's always some type of incident. So like myself I always had a couple of, I, I always kept that I just trained in my thing, but mate, it's over a phone call or someone looking at it the wrong way or someone's bumped you know, fuck what the you know, so I, I had my fair share of knuckles too. But then what what you what you see is a lot of like gang shit too, you know what I mean? This crew here and this guy rocks you and fuck and they turn out this bloke, you know what I mean? Fucking he's fucking he's gonna get out of here because obviously he's from another gang. You know, like I say, so like, okay. And then and then what happens is this is where you've got to be very careful in this. So they get him, right? So he goes off to his jail where all his people is. Well, one of those ten end up getting fucking moved, what they call tipped, or oh, mate, you're fucking you're on escort, boom. He's ended up over fucking there where, where all his crews are. So they get him. So it's a, it's a revolving door. They get him. They get you. It goes backwards and forwards. And it's like, so at Silverwater, you've got rebels and hell's angels. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Rebels and Comancheros, right? Um, lone Wolves were there, but they had a massive running with rebels. So there's a lot of technicality shit. A lot of people, you, you know, that don't, mm. that don't see this shit. So now, Lone Wolf, Banditos, and Hell's Angels, they're at Park Lee. So they all have their separate jars because, mate, the last thing the screws want to do is fucking, you know, and these guys, they're all big boys, you know what I mean? They, they, and, they, you know, and they, when a lot of them get busted, mate, you're looking at 20 deep, there's 20 Hell's Angels, there's fucking 15 uh, uh, Bandits, fucking 20 lone wars you know like like mate, so it, 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 they were, and they all get along so you look at that mate there's fucking 55 heads that you have to maintain you know what i mean so they want a friendliest environment as they can and now with all the on the boys and all their fucking gangster rap music and shit like it even you know like the one four boys fucking don't like these boys and those boys don't like those boys and it's shit but it's sort of everybody you know what i mean you got bloodline down in, in gold and big island boys which they're, they're they're good boys versus the oc boys you know what i mean like it's it's a fucking mate so you you got to stay in your lane yeah so stay stay in your lane I'm, like we, i get along with everybody i never get involved in any i said boys I said, fuck, I don't ride bikes, boys. I said, I ride surfboards, mate. I couldn't even fucking ride a bike if you give me one, you know. Like a little moped sweet around, you know, done. You know what I mean? With those big fucking hard things, I couldn't, I couldn't do one of them, you know. So, so you, you know, you just, you just stay in your lane. Mate, it's 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 really well put. I'm I'm glad you described it and, and broke it down like that because uh, you know, for anyone listening who's flirting with the idea of uh, you know, just dipping their toes in or whatever. I think what they have to realize is that, you know, I've had family members go away for, you know, fairly significant amounts of time, and, but they weren't connected with anyone. So when they're in there, they're, they're fucked. Like, they're just fucking, well, like, well, they could they could stay in their lane, but, like, they're getting stood over for fucking noodles and phone calls and, you know, just dumb shit like that. Like, you, so, like, you, you might think you're the hard man on the outside slinging packets or pills or pot or whatever, but the reality <laughs> is, like you're a fucking absolute bottom feeder. <laughs> <you> going? <laughs> fucking perfect analogy. Fucking straight up perfect analogy. 